I think we are live now. So hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. So I think we are live now. So let me know if you are able to. Yes, everything is working fine. And if there is any doubt related to this uh, lecture, you can, uh, you know, make a comment in the super chat section. So today I'm going to share seven important questions, uh, seven questions from the UGC net for the UGC net exam right so uh, let's start with the question number one three students are live with us so hi students my name is raman deep singh so my name is raman deep singh i have cracked the ugc net two years back so in the first very first attempt so i'm the founder of bank so let's start with the seven important questions that I'm going to share with you, right? So a few of the questions that I've seen in the previous papers as well. So students, I have started the UGC net management course for paper one as well as for the paper two. Paper one uh, plus paper two. If you want to see the demo, uh, there is a complete YouTube channel. I think you are watching this video on YouTube. So please watch my previous sessions on marketing, quantitative aptitude, data interpretation, even the principles of management, organizational behavior. So if you like my sessions, you can join this course as well. So uh, we are going to provide the daily video classes, Rose Hungi classes, daily video classes for phase one, uh, for paper one, as well as paper two, it's paper one and paper two. Uh, then there will be proper notes, study notes, and then which will be followed by proper test series. At the end of every lecture, there will be MCQs. So install the bank exams today mobile application and, and uh, or you can go to learn.bankexamstoday.com or you can also give me a call 906720100. That is my number. You can also WhatsApp me, right? So let's start. Uh, somebody is asking what about the guidance for interview I'll do that as well don't worry um, IBPS SO marketing I'll do that so 65 of our students they cracked IBPS marketing and I taught them the marketing so this is the question number one the willingness to reject the unfamiliar unfamiliar as well as the negative information is called what see students there is nothing like environmental myopia or the vision myopia the answer I mean try to uh, eliminate the options the answer could be marketing myopia or the strategic myopia the willingness to reject the unfamiliar as well as the negative information willingness to you are rejecting the negative information and the unfamiliar uh, information unfamiliar situations so let's focus on what is marketing myopia and what is the strategic myopia so marketing myopia first expressed in an article by Theodore Levitt, uh, Mr. Levitt in the Harvard Business Review. See, market myopia is a short-sightedness related to marketing, right? So when you are too much focused into your product, you don't give, you don't care for your customers. I mean, what customers are looking for, you don't care for it. You, you are so much into your product that you don't give a damn to the customer's requirements, right? So, uh, what happened in case of, I would say, uh, Kodak, the classic example of Kodak. Uh, Kodak, they were into films, right? Uh, I mean, uh, you will be surprised to know that Kodak was the first company who brought, who actually, you know, they had the, you know, patent for the digital films, but they didn't bring the digital films in the market. Canon did. Nikon did, Sony did. So Kodak, uh, that is a classic case of marketing myopia. Uh, when we ignore our customers requirements, when we ignore our customers and we try to build our own, uh, when we try to, uh, you know, focus on our only on our product and we avoid the customers requirement. So a sense of this article was that uh, the, the company is so focused on our own products and they can't see the customer's needs or misrepresent them. Or you can say they try to fit the customer's needs in the product they have made. Hindi mein samjhau, ek aapne product bana liya and aap, aapke jo marketing sales rep hai, wo customers ko samjha rahe hai ki aapki needs is product se satisfy ho sakti hai. And you are not trying to make a product for the customers. You are making your product and then your marketing. So, this was marketing myopia. Tha. Then, what is strategic myopia? I mean, quite, you can 
क्वाइट इट इज सिमिलर टू मार्केटिंग माइपिया लेट मी जस्ट यू नो थोड़ा ये कर लूँ मैं अपना हाँ वाइब्रेट वे वॉट इज स्ट्रैटेजिक माओपिया इट इज़ अ कंडीशन इन विच ये छोटे बिजनेस में होता है राइट right? क्योंकि बिकॉज इन स्मॉल बिजनेस द पीपल दे आर ऑलरेडी वर्किंग फॉर फोर्टी आर फोर्टी फाइव आवर्स अ वीक दैट लाइक आई एम डूइंग राइट एंड द पीपल इन द स्मॉल बिजनेस दे डोंट हैव मच टाइम फॉर द स्ट्रैटेजिक मैनेजमेंट राइट सो स्ट्रैटेजिक माओपिया इज अ कंडीशन इन विच द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ अ बिजनेस कैन सी क्लियरली दो थिंग दैट आर कमिंग इन द शॉर्ट टर्म बट दे हैव द फर्जी व्यू फर्जी धुंधला धुंधला व्यू of what their future might be over the long period of time so they can clearly see uh, i mean strategic myopia means uh, short term ka idea hai long term ka kuch pata nahi hai small uh, scale businesses mein hota hai badi uh, you know educational com- uh, online uh, ad tech companies hai unko actually pata hai 10 saal baad kya hona because they can afford to do such plannings they have uh deep pockets but the small companies the small businesses they don't have money for long term plans right i mean wo 6 mahine 7 mahine ek saal ka sochte hain wo 10 saal ka nahi sochte so that is strategic myopia so the willingness to reject unfamiliar as well as negative information that is strategic myopia and i saw this this question in the ugc net july 2018 okay चलिए आगे बढ़ते हैं टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इन विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग टाइप्स ऑफ स्टोर 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 रिटेलर्स लार्ज लो कॉस्ट लो मार्जिन हाई वॉल्यूम सेल्फ सर्विस स्टोर एट्रीब्यूट आर डिजाइन दिमाग लगा के सोचिए आई मीन विच काइंड ऑफ स्टोर आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट लार्ज स्टोर लो कॉस्ट स्टोर लो मार्जिन स्टोर हाई वॉल्यूम्स दिस इज द ब्रांड आई मीन इन यूएस दिस इज द ब्रांड In India, I think it is uh, best price. I mean, India me they had they have best price, right? So Walmart and what is Walmart? Walmart is a supermarket, right? It is a supermarket. So large, low cost, low margin, high volume self service store. So we are talking about supermarkets. So let's move forward to the question number three. Uh, the philosophy. to the question number 3 the philosophy of dash is to identify the market segments select one or more and develop the products and the marketing mixes tailored to each selected segment i mean what is market segmentation that i'm going to discuss in the next questions right so you have divided the market that suppose a uh, market segment aapne bana liya that i am looking for uh, you know people uh, for the age of 18 to 24 inka age ho and they are interested in uh, uh, let's say they are interested in uh, sunglasses they are interested in sunglasses okay or let's say i mean thoda aur acha banana they are interested in uh, they are football players football players of the age of 18 to 24 so uh this is uh, that's how you do the segmentations right so the philosophy of dash is to identify identify market segment first of all you identified your market segment and select one or more and develop product and marketing mixes for that specific market segment is it mass marketing no in the mass marketing we are uh, marketing a product to everybody sabko hum mass marketing is like tata tata salt i mean they are trying to market the product to everybody or let's say about uh, oneplus they are marketing the product to everybody product variety marketing it's nothing macro marketing it is target marketing they are targeting a specific segment so that is target marketing right to the question number 4 dash divides the buyers into different groups based on social class lifestyle and personality characteristics so just give it a look there are four ways by which you can segment the market the geographic uh, simply uh, in case of india i mean uh, if you are trying to divide the market on the basis of states or cities that is geographic matlab mean, punjab ka ek market hai delhi ka maharashtra ka that is geographic right according to the region 
डेमोग्राफिक दैट आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू लेट्स से द एज ऑफ 18 टू 24 मेल हो दे आर इंटरेस्टेड इन फुटबॉल और दे आर ऑफिस गोअर्स राइट दे गो टू ऑफिस और दे आर दे गो टू कॉलेज और लाइक दे आर सरदार्स और व्हाटएवर राइट सो दैट इज डेमोग्राफिक बिहेवियरल और साइकोग्राफिक दोनों काफी कॉमन है बिहेवियर इज लाइक हाउ द कंज्यूमर्स रिएक्ट राइट uh and psychographic is the person's uh, personality or the lifestyle person's personality lifestyle attitude uh, or let's say if a person is into like person ka lifestyle hai eating organic food ye person ka attitude uh, ye lifestyle hai he is into organic food he is go- he is going to buy only the organic products or uh, let's say the law- in case of behavioral uh hum uh, jo customer hai uska behavior dekhte hain apne product ko leke how he is behaving to our brand to our products loyalty status ye bilkul bahut loyal customer hai mera let's say i i make a toothpaste and this person he is using colgate uh, from like last 20 years ye colgate hi kharidega right aur ye thoda sa main aur batata hu aapko Psychographic segmentation groups customer according to their lifestyle or buying psychology. So the desire for status, enhanced appearance or more money. I mean, see, in case of psychographic, may I mean, there is a possibility that you are not loyal to a particular brand. For enhanced appearance, I mean, uh, or let's say for in a better health, you are into organic food, right? So that is a psychographic factor. Behavior, I, I mean, how you behave to a particular brand. Customer wanting a value for money impulse buy. Or an example, you can uh, uh, mo- uh, I mean, mobile operating system. Ka. I mean, in case of Android, most of the people, they don't pay. They are into free apps. In case of iOS, people, many people, they pay for apps. So that is their behavior. In case of Android, they're into free apps. In case of iOS, they're into paid apps, right? So that that is how they behave. While psychographic, that is a psycho. I mean, uh, you can say that is uh, the. I mean, that is the lifestyle of person. I mean, that's how they they live. Or let's say a customer who's going to buy only formal clothes. I mean, there there can be persons who are not never going to buy jeans, right? So that's how we can differentiate between behavioral and the psych- psychographic, right? So divide the buyers into group based on social classes, lifestyle and the personality characteristics. That is a psychographic. Okay. Based on social class and the lifestyle. That is important. And the personality character. That is psychographic. Now, which of the following is not a demographic characteristic. I already told in the previous slide. Obviously, age hai. Marital status bhi hai, gender bhi hai, personality nahi hai, right? Personality is not, because personality aata hai, personality aata hai psychographic mein, okay? The type of market where single seller dominates the market, entire market is referred to what? It is not perfect, local, global to bilkul bhi nahi hai. So it is imperfect, right? The last question, according to the diffusion of innovation theory, the diffusion, very important uh, for the marketing management, diffusion of innovation theory, the second group of new product adopters representing the 13.5% of the total market are known as what? Uh, What they are known as, right? The diffusion of innovation theory. So this is the diffusion of innovation theory. The top 2.5% people. uh, What is diffusion of innovation theory? The iPhone uh, came in 2007. Very few people bought the iPhones at that particular point of time, right? So those people who bought the iPhones in the first few months, those were innovators. Then in uh, in like, I think after a few weeks, many people started buying it. So those were early adopters, right? And like in the years of 2009 to let's say 2012 or 13, a lot of people, they bought it. Okay. And then the late majority after watching these people, these people starting buying it, the late majority and the laggards like us, I mean, who just bought the smartphones, right? So they bought the product, right? So that's the diffusion of innovation theory. The person 
द पीपल हु द कस्टमर्स हु बॉट द प्रोडक्ट इन द बिगिनिंग देन दे आर नोन एज अ इनोवेटर्स एंड जस्ट आफ्टर द इनोवेटर देर आर अर्ली अडॉप्टर्स सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिविजन ऑफ इनोवेशन थियरी द सेकेंड ग्रुप सेकेंड ग्रुप कौन सा है द अर्ली अडॉप्टर्स uh the early adopters are is the answer the d is the correct answer so that's all for today students aaj sath hi question hai so in case you are looking for the ugc net management course paper 1 as well as for the paper 2 we are going to provide the daily video classes notes and the test series please install the bank exams today mobile application in case you want to have a chat with me please call 9067201300 or you can go to learn.bankexamstudy.com so that's all for today students thank you and have a very nice day bye uh -huh.